Hey everyone, I want to share a little bit about why I created the village at the Lola community, which is our monthly membership and gathering and sacred community. So one of the things that's really clear to me after all of these years, I'm now going into my like 14th year of teaching um, from a variety of traditions, mind, body, soul practices. And it's clear to me that our systems, our religious systems, our formal religious systems have failed us. Our educational systems have failed us. Our family systems have failed us. And as people who desire to live with intention, transformation, consciousness, awareness, and people who want to grow and flow, um, that it's really important to have a community in which to co-regulate, right? And so what does that mean? It means in a circle, a community in which to be able to have discernment, question, diverse views, diverse ages, diverse backgrounds and opinions, not that we're creating same, same, same. And so this idea of the village is that there were times in past, like traditional times in where we lived in villages and there were people who made shoes and people who cooked bread and people who were the healers and that we were all would come together within the sacred community to gather and bless and pray and appreciate gratitude for earth-based wisdom, our bodies, our minds, our souls, our families. We would be able to see different archetypal stages, developmental stages of life. We would birth together and die together and that all of that would be normal within the ebb and flow of the season, the physical season, and then the season of life. And so the village at Lola community is that is, is created with that heartful intention that we gather. We gather each week, one time for mind, where we talk about like frameworks and theories and kind of the mind stuff around a particular topic. This month we're doing how to get grounded and then we're going to do pleasure and rage in the same month. So sort of sensuality and anger. We're going to be doing emotional regulation. We're going to be doing archetypes and initiation. So we have a theme that we sort of lean into and learn about. And then that's the mind aspect. The body aspect is where we breathe and move and stretch and create shapes with our body and meditate and have gratitude practice and blessing practice. Um, And that's the body aspect, usually again, around that same theme. And then the soul integration practice, which is where we do deep listening from within and share out where we're able to witness one another in sacred community and in sacred presence um, and really expressing and sharing some of the deepest insights from the wisdom within. And so that's why we created, that's why I created the village to co-regulate. It's so clear how some of these systems have failed us and harmed us and traumatized us. And that together we can create um, these really beautiful intentional communities that allow for diversity, not sameness, that allow for body size difference and heart size difference and income size difference and that all of us are in different places with our own healing practices, our own trauma resolution, our own ebbs and flows of life and what that means to be in sacred community with it. I think the biggest thing for us is this kind of resonance around this is normal, right? There's a full moon. I'm having trouble sleeping. I'm feeling really vibrant and energized and kind of like I'm vibrating from that illumination of the moon and oh is anybody else feeling that and sometimes there's a me too and sometimes not or it's a dark moon and we're sort of in a more quiet relaxed state oh is anybody else yes me too or no that's interesting and so we're kind of ebbing and flowing together um around these topics 
finding the space that where we connect, where there's sameness and finding and honoring the space where there's difference. And so that's the village at the Lola community.